It's like a salad on my head. <clears throat> the time it is wherever you are um today i am going to show you a small cottage core kind of mushroom hat diy for the thing that's on my head i didn't make the hat base um i bought it off of i th think amazon they're super cheap they're only like 10 bucks but they're also easy to make on their own as well it's just a triangle and a circle basically <laughs> um but without further ado, let's get into it. You won't need a lot of materials for this project. I used just what I had at home. I had a few tools to shape, like the wooden dowel, twine, smaller foliage, paper clay, our base, and a screwdriver for more shaping. I also had more foliage. I didn't actually end up using this, but it does look nice. Paper clay can be found at just about any craft store. It's a little more forgiving than foam clay in my opinion after using both. I use this primarily to make any hard horns that I need for cosplay. Another thing I love about this material is that you can abuse it as much as you want and it's, you know, it stands the test of time. I still have, you know, homestick horns from 2012 and they look brand new. <laughs> Here I'm just ripping off chunks and roughly eyeing out the size of each mushroom that I'm going to be putting on the hat. What I kept in mind as I was making the mushrooms is what kind of mushrooms that I wanted for my hat specifically. I chose the, the type that grow on sides of trees that are, they're pretty small, they're, they're a cute, decent size. Paper clay is pretty forgiving if it uh, cracks or if it starts to act the way it wants. It's very fixable with just a little bit of water. Here I'm just using my screwdriver to uh, carve out these sort of gills, spores, the, the thing under the mushroom. Um, you don't have to use a screwdriver, it's just what I had on my desk. You can add as much or as little detail as you would like, and that's perfectly sufficient. Thank you. 
varied my shapes on how long and short the stems are, so I had a decent variety. If you make it too long, it does have the possibility of snapping off as durable as paper clay it is without a base, without something inside it like tin foil or um, not structured onto a different shape, that it can and will happen. Here I'm just shaping smaller mushrooms. It's so cute. Looks like a flying saucer. Or a very ugly ravioli. Now here, along the rim, I account for the hat being curved, and this is very important when you're shaping the mushroom itself. It gives it a lot more, um, it gives it a lot more integrity with staying on the hat. Now, it's time to paint. Here we're starting with our smaller pieces, um, just because they were easier. I didn't really know what kind of color scheme I wanted, so I just chose like a good coffee brown and a yellow that I mixed a little bit of brown with to mute the color. I went ahead and painted the undersides lighter and the caps darker. You do have the option of sanding your pieces before you start the painting process, if that's something that you would like. The photos I referenced for these mushrooms were a little rough around the edges, so I kept the original shape and skipped the whole sanding process. Now they're all painted. <laughs> After they're painted, I did slam a... Uh, a coat of Mod Podge on front of it. It looks pretty, uh, pretty bad. <laughs> Before gluing them on, I just carefully... Well, maybe not carefully, but I laid out the general idea of what I wanted. And here they are, all painted and ready to go. I used E6000 to attach it, please use a respirator or a face mask when using this glue. The fumes are toxic to you. Um, you won't die, but you'll definitely get a very, very strong migraine. Um, and here are all of them attached. Now it's moss time. I use just good old hot glue. <laughs> The most effective way for gluing all of this mess on was just small glue circles. Just kind of spread it around. It helps to take a bunch and the spots that you missed, you can um, just pack more on top of it. It does get kind of hot with your hands, so I would recommend using that little wooden dowel we talked about earlier that does come in handy. I went all around the edges of each little mushy boy. I applied it around mostly all the areas that made sense to me and my head at the time. It may look a little different from you, but that is a-okay.
the hands. I put the smaller foliage where it made sense for me and my hat along the way. And glued moss over my edges to just make it a little more polished. Next up is my bigger foliage. I use this lavender looking um, fake plant I got at Michael's and I went ahead and just cut that into smaller pieces so it would be easier to attach to everything. I used a few at a time and bundled them all together. I went ahead and hot glued that sh sh stuff up. <laughs> I put a little more moss just to uh, cover up all that hot glue we just used. Ouch. <laughs> when will I ever take my own advice? <laughs> and there we have it. Now you can go and live out your cottage core goblin core dreams. You made it to the end of the video. I'm so proud of you. L look at you. You maybe learned a thing. Maybe. Um, I should be around with more content eventually. I do things like LARP and voice acting and cosplay, mostly cosplay. Um, who knows? I just want to let the cottagecore lesbians know that I love them. I fucking, I wish I could be you. <laughs>